The general techniques shown in this video will apply to any project using a 5 8 inch standard mortar joint. Any installation containing openings, transitions, or penetrations should begin with the proper preparation of the wall surface to include code compliant flashing. For more detailed information on flashing installation, see our flashing video in this series. You can also reference our installation instructions by going to provia.com slash provia brochures. For dry stacked applications and panelized profiles like Provia's Precision Fit, the stones should fit tightly against each other. See the video, Applying Stone with Tight Fitted Joints, in this video series. Most installations begin with some type of a pre-planning layout of the stone they are about to install. Stones can be laid out on a floor area with some blending of stones from several boxes done right there on the floor. By doing this, some decisions are pre-made about the overall design for visual enhancement. Some blending may include mixing small stones with large stones, thick stones with thinner stones, and by varying textures of stones throughout the application. As you create your layout, you may need to trim stones to fit. You can simply use any number of tools, including nippers, a hatchet, a brick hammer, a brick trowel, or a dry concrete blade and an electric circular saw. If your installation contains corners, always begin the installation with outside corners. Notice that each corner piece has a long and a short leg. You should alternate them going up the corner of the wall. When installing inside corners, place stones so that they dovetail together in an alternating pattern. This may require trimming to fit. Inside corners should be completed first before laying flat stones. Once inside corners are installed, work from the inside out with flats. Note, in any exterior installation, the stone should be installed no closer than 4 inches to the final grade or 2 inches to a hard surface such as a sidewalk, driveway, etc. The use of a weep screed or some other code compliant base flashing product is recommended. When installing linear style stones, choose pieces that ensure vertical joints do not line up. You may occasionally need to trim pieces during installation to achieve this. Horizontal lines should be broken approximately every 6 feet. Use a 4 foot level to keep lines and stones level. Be sure to step back and review your work occasionally. This will allow you to be sure the effect is looking like you intended it to be. Once your wall surface is prepared, you're ready for your scratch coat of mortar. Follow recommended guidelines to mix the mortar. For more detailed information on mortar techniques, visit the Mortar Techniques section of this video series. Begin by applying approximately one half inch of mortar as the scratch coat to the prepared wall surface and one half inch to 5 8 inch mortar to the back of individual stones. When laying in your course of stone, use the same mortar mixture used on the scratch coat. Moisten the scratch coat or back of the stone when temperatures are above 80 degrees or the wall is exposed to direct sunlight. You can use a pointed trowel for mortaring stones, but be sure to cover the entire back of each stone with one half inch to 5 8 inch thick mortar. Press each piece firmly into the mortar bed with enough pressure to squeeze some mortar out around the edges of the piece. By using gentle pressure and a slight wiggling action while applying the stone to the bed coat, you will ensure a good bond. As you place each piece, make sure the mortar joint remains consistent at 5 8 inch spacing. The stone installation must achieve a minimum of 50 pounds per square inch shear bond. Note, check with the mortar manufacturer to ensure their mortar meets or exceeds ASTM C91 requirements and meets minimum bond code requirements. For dry stacked applications and panelized profiles like Provia's Precision Fit, the stone should fit tightly against each other. See the video, Applying Stone with Tight Fitted Joints, in this video series. For installation of trims, sills, and architectural details, see the Trim, Sill, and Architectural Details video in this series.